Hi, I'm Marty Young, and welcome to the LSUS Pioneer Heritage Center. Y'all come on in. Okay, we're in the Web and Web Commissary, and the Web Commissary serves as our welcome center here at the Pioneer Heritage Center. The Web Commissary was moved to the university in the early 1980s and uh, was originally built in the early 1900s. It serves as our welcome center, and here's where we describe um, how this major trend from uh, into sharecropping would take place. It's also where we talk about some early Louisiana history um, and we just gear everyone up for our tour of the facility. The commissary served a very important role just like stores do today. This is where the pioneers would have come to buy things like sugar and cornmeal and flour and coffee. Or if they needed tools of any sort, they would have come here. They would have bought their cast iron cookware. They would have bought coffee pots. They could have bought medicine here. And they could have even used, if you'll see behind me right here, you could see they could even come in and mail a letter. They would also service the local post office. So these stores made and served a big major role as the pioneers came in and settled in Northwest Louisiana. Our next building here at the Pioneer Heritage Center um, is our blacksmith shop. Our blacksmith shop was uh, donated by a gentleman named Jack Grigsby. He donated, no, donated the building. This is an all log, square notch, cypress construction. Um, and then our blacksmith equipment came from one of our instrumental founders here at the Pioneer Heritage Center, a gentleman named Goodloe Stuck. And he donated about 90% of our blacksmith equipment from his family plantation of Jubilee down in DeSoto Parish. The blacksmiths played a very large role um, in these early settlements. Um, if it wasn't for the blacksmiths, we'd also be working with stone tools. So they had a slight edge over the other craftspeople during this time period. I'm not saying he was more important, he just had a little bit of an edge in the sense that carpenters, butchers, farmers, stonemasons, tailors, they all had to have tools and the blacksmith was the guy who made all those tools. Um, he made the scissors, the needles, the plow points, the axes, the shovels, the hammers, the hinges, the nails. So he was very instrumental in moving us into that industrial age um, and bringing us out of the rural lives that we were all accustomed to during this time period. Our next home we have here at the uh, Pioneer Heritage Center is our Caspian and Big House. Built in 1856 by Mr. William Joseph Hutchinson. Um, it was one of two homes he had. Caspian was located on the Caddo side of the Red River and uh, sits about 11 miles south of the university here on Highway 1. His other plantation he had was over in Bossier Parish called Evergreen. Um, around the 1870s, they would actually sell Evergreen and Mr. Hutchinson would uproot his family and move to Caspian. The Caspiana Big House serves as our anchor building at the Pioneer Heritage Center. It was donated to us in 1977 in a joint venture between the university and the Junior League of Shreveport. The Junior League found this building, saw the importance of saving the Northwest Louisiana history, and so would begin the small embryonic portions of what would become the Pioneer Heritage Center. Stop here is our detached kitchen. Um, the detached kitchen came also as another donation from the Webb family, just like our general store. Um, and we converted the little one room home into our detached kitchen. Kitchens were detached from the homes um, simply because of the heat that we generated every day with a cook fire. You didn't want to cook fire and have heat in your house in August, but the main reason being because of the threat of fire. 
If a fire was going to break out, the kitchen was the most likely spot it was going to happen. And you did not have it attached to your home because it was easier to allow your kitchen to burn down than to watch your entire house burn down. Most things in the kitchen could be easily replaced. And when they did their cooking um, in these types of kitchens, what they used was the fireplace and the open hearth. So they would break those hot coals out onto the hearth, set their Dutch ovens on that, and that's how they would do their cooking, um, such as cooking biscuits, breads, cakes, pies, and they would set their skillets on there and they would cook things like bacon and eggs and ham, typical type things that most pioneers would eat on a general morning when they got ready to go out and work for the day. Our last stop on the walking tour at the LSU US Pioneer Heritage Center is our doctor's office. Our doctor's office was built in 1902 and was located on the Caspiana Plantation. Six doctors would eventually practice medicine in this building from 1902 until the 1940s. Now today, during our educational tours, what we use it for is we do a great comparison of what happened when the pioneers were settled here versus what goes on today in the medical world. Thank you for visiting the Pioneer Heritage Center. For more information, contact us through the LSUS website. See you later.